Back in 1953, Mark Smith, the founder of Jeep Jamboree, came out to Rubicon Springs and uh, went fishing with a friend. And he came back and he told his wife that he found the most beautiful place on earth. He and a group of Rotarians started the first ever Jeep Jamboree. So it's kind of a you know momentous occasion for all of us being out here. I love getting to a place you get to a quiet campsite. You know, we have a, a saying out here, we said, if, if silence had a sound, what would it sound like? And it's the crackling of the fire at night when we're sitting around talking with friends. It's the, the hearing the water trickle over the rocks and the, and the wind in the trees. Those are my favorite moments being out here. And you get out here in a Jeep 4x4. This is the 70th year that Mark first did the trip in 1953. We've got 130 vehicles from 18 states, 245 So people. red group, anybody in a red group, you're 645, and white group, you're 7 o'clock. But if you make a corner and you don't see the person behind you, make sure you stop. You're going to stop and take a lot of pictures. Don't block the trail. Pull over, let other people go on by. How many first time here at Rubicon? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take any food into your tent. The bears sometimes uh, have a tendency to want to eat that. Respect the wildlife and the environment. We don't litter. But there are snakes and rattlesnakes, so do watch your footing out there. Have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you in camp. Oh, Congratulations, guys. 70 years. Go ahead and get in your vehicles. We should be hitting the road here in about 10, 15 minutes. It's a great experience for the people to go. They get in the backcountry, they're able to drive, see what their four-wheel drive vehicle is capable of doing, and actually the seat country that most people would never be able to see. All right, team, we're rolling. My first time, I think I was 22 years old, thrown in a Wrangler and said go. And that was back in the days when Mark Smith used to walk the trail with a stick. And if you had a manual and you hit the clutch, he would just whack you. So I think I still have a bruise. <laughs> this is her first time, which is super exciting for me. I'm, she's a little nervous, I think. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to? Um, probably the hiking, because I've always liked adventuring. Welcome to the Rubicon Trail. We're in a 4xE 20th anniversary. We're running full electric on an obstacle right now. We're having a great conversation. The microphone sounds great. Easy peasy. Full E mode. All electric, all electric. You can hear all those scrapes. <laughs> That's part of being on the Rubicon Trail. If you ain't scraping, you ain't wheeling. How's that? The Rubicon Trail is absolutely grueling. These obstacles are no joke. We have very professional spotters out as there with them. You know, the trail will, will put the people and the vehicles to the challenge. From the factory out on the trail, to be able to tackle this trail, the most unique thing about it is you get to drive it home. To get to this location, I mean, you're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. No cell phone coverage. You are off the grid. You need the reliability and the durability of that vehicle to conquer this trail and get home. Yeah, so you finally make it to Rubicon Springs, which we call Rubicon Base Camp. It's kind of the halfway point. We have 420 privately owned acres in here. We fly in about 30,000 pounds of food and gear, including a baby grand piano. You have a river that runs through camp you can swim in. I mean, the snow's still melting, so it's a little chilly. But what makes this more unique is the community of people. Today I've been doing it about I guess 11 or 12 years, and uh, get to meet a lot of great people. With all the things going on in the world, it's nice to have a camaraderie and a, a group or a tribe that gets to go out and enjoy themselves in places where a lot of people never get to see. This is a community of people that are about something bigger than themselves. We've got families out here, we have some older folks out here, maybe we have retired people, people are just getting into the sport. They're just come from all walks of life. We 
some of my best memories in life were coming back from the beach and just being freezing cold, sitting underneath the Bimini top. This vehicle, every time you even looked at it, it just, you felt adventure. We could go anywhere and we could do anything. Like the sky was the limit. Let's go. From here we're going up. 